I'm gonna work on my steps here. Today is Saturday. And I call today Saturday <laughs> something on my video. All I know is my video is all choppy this morning, so I am going to just keep working on my steps here while I'm sitting down. I'm just going to use this little recorder and I'm going to keep working on my steps. There's about a thousand left to reach my 5,000 goal. And I did my 5,000 earlier this morning with my arms. So I just sit here and I chat. <laughs> All I wanted to do <laughs> on that video really was to say good morning to you and hoping you and wishing you all a great day. <laughs> You know, the learning how to be available myself for myself emotionally is wonderful. And uh, yesterday on the Feelings Wheel Friday, I put on a I posted to my page. So I recommend that you read the, that's what I was trying to do, is recommending uh, what I re I've read yesterday chapter seven of journey to success for audio purposes and uh, that was chapter seven and on there he was mentioning uh, latter part of chapter seven someone by the name of Baron Katie and to one of the uh, four things he asked us to do was to Go to the YouTube page and watch uh, Bear and Katie. And the work is, it's called a work and it's a two hour program. Really, really, if you're interested in receiving healing for yourself and realizing that it's gonna have like a beautiful domino effect on others, give it a try, dynamic effect in a positive way. So on here I wrote on Feelings Wheel Friday, fears is war within us. We need to heal from fear and move towards peace. To move and move towards peace. To move forward and grow and mature in our lives. Your thoughts are so powerful. They create your identity. And this is with Car uh, Byron Katie. And I'll just read the French one. Vous de sentiments vendredi. La peur et la guerre en nous. Nous, de, vous de, vous de, nous devons guérir de la peur et avancer vers la paix. Pour avancer, pour grandir et mûrir, vos pensées sont, sont si puissantes qu'ils créent votre identité. C'est vraiment un bon programme à watcher. J'espère vous l'écouter. And uh, I also uploaded on here Feelings Will Friday on my Facebook page. And it's all about. When I uh, also. Uh, uploaded to my page uh, something called chapter seven your journey to success i believe it's also on my youtube channel so check it out i think it's pretty interesting i've been praying for clarity and i got my clarity anyways i'm sorry about the choppy video there on facebook this morning while i was doing my arms range of motion exercises I think I'm not going to use my Facebook live video anymore because it's just getting very choppy and cuts in everything. Like my video is getting cut, my, my audio, not so much the video, but the audio. So I'll try to see if I can fix that for you. I'm just going to work on my thousand steps here. Just a good feeling to be able to have movements in the body and to acknowledge yes 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 you know so what i was talking about earlier was just 
Yes, there is such thing as heaviness. And there is such thing as regard. However, when I listened to that video by uh, Byron Katie, that woman knows what she's talking about. She's not playing head games. She's not doing triangulation. She actually knows what she's doing. She's not enmeshing. She's not. She is she has a true sense of her own self identity and wow it's pretty amazing so if you get have a chance sometime today or another day whenever you know you have free time to do this do it it's worth it listen to the video you're worth it your self-esteem is probably feeling troubled your heart is probably feeling troubled. Your physical sickness and your worries and your anxiety, right? Whatever you're feeling, take time for yourself and listen to that video by yourself or with someone you, you trust, someone close to you. But she really has a way of helping you connect to your true emotions your true self your authentic self a lot of people know how to do that and some people are in the learning process of doing that because as we heal the trauma leaves our body right as we heal the anxiety leaves our body as we acknowledge and not deny anymore it's like oh my god I thought he hated me or she hated me. You go back and you think, to that child, to your inner child. You go back. That inner child is sitting on the floor, feeling lonely, feeling frustrated, feeling like mom or dad wasn't there for them. Right? Oh, my mom hates me. She's a this and she's a that. And then you start thinking, she helps you through the healing process through a few questions very good questions i'll go get the book as a matter of fact because i thought it is pretty interesting i'm taking this from chapter seven on the journey to success and this is the place that really got my attention. Chapter 7. It's called, what are you getting from this? <laughs> Where did my magnifying glass go? Hmm. Not sure where I put it. Oh, there it is. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about the weight there. But this part of the book really got my interest. And uh, it's a game changing new perspective. Now, I was in denial for decades and kept reliving the worst day cycle. Whether it was abusive, it's usually on the part of when things go bad, they go worse, right? So, in denial for decades and kept reliving the worst day cycle. This was until I discovered the work of speaker and on, of speaker and on author Byron Katie. 
in my opinion, she was, she is one of the, the best authorities on denial. Well, yes, this is on the uh, chapter seven denial. So after my second marriage ended, I had this unquenchable thirst to figure out why, why I kept ending up in the same place. I couldn't escape the memory of my wife and the feeling that overwhelming and uh, that feeling that overwhelmed me as a result, repeatedly reliving my worst day cycle was killing my soul and sending me on a chase that I could never stop. I found much needed clarity. And with Katie's method of self-inquiry called the work, she asked clients to write down these stressful thoughts on paper and then answer the following. So this is this one right here that you need to see, right? Or I recommend that you see because it's really, really good. Write down these questions. Is it true? Question mark. Can you absolutely know it's true? Question mark. What happens when you believe that thought? Question mark. What would you be without that thought? So if my thought was I am unforgiving as an example, right? My, so is it true? I am so unforgiving. Can you absolutely know it's true? Mm think so I could give you a list of all my shortcomings and my flaws all right my temperament my character my nature over my nurture right all that I give you a list of things and my shortcomings and then it's like can you absolutely know it's true what happens when you believe that thought I get critical I get I judge myself. I don't think I could never be enough. I'm not good enough. I'm doomed if I do. I'm doomed if I don't, right? That's a feeling. If I really believe that thought, do I like that feeling? <laughs> what would you do without that thought? I'd be like, whoa, what a big weight off of my shoulder. If I just let go of that thought wherever it came from right so anyways this is just an example i thought i'd read that part to you but yeah if you listen to my journey to success uh audio on my facebook page uh chapter seven written by kenny way audio by me jeanette you see me with my glasses like this because uh like I said, at one point I've never had eyesight problems, but then in 2009 I did. Maybe if I write those things down in my own journey to healing and success. Oh, could it be? Right? I saw I expecting something bad to happen to me because of my own stuff. My own unhealed emotion. It's okay to take time to heal. Oof, I'm just gonna keep pedaling till I reach 5,000 here. I just love my life. Every new day is like, wow. If I knew what I knew then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had, I think I wouldn't have had so many struggles, but you know what? There's a reason for everything. For pain, for experiences, time to heal. We're ready for it. There's a reason for everything. There's a purpose for everything. You know? Was that God putting that cigarette in my, in my mouth at the age of 13? Of course not. That was my choice. Right? Was that God telling me to just be respectful of myself? No, of course not. That was my choice. So, 
Unbeknownst be known to me that my self-esteem needed work. My self-acknowledgement needed work. My self-evaluation needed work. That's called the work. Right? I probably, if I understood that back then, it was probably too much for me to understand that. It would have been too much for me because I didn't think, I didn't believe I had the uh, wherewithal or the smarts. <laughs> Because during my teenage years, I repeated the same grade three times, so my self-esteem was kind of shut, shocked, right? Like, no, it wasn't the teacher's fault. It wasn't the English people's fault. I was just having a hard time to grasp. And because I kept repeating the same grade, I started think, taking on what they thought that they may be thinking of me as my own concept. That was something I needed to learn. It's not something somebody else could learn for me. I had to learn that for myself. And once you learn, and once you know, you know better. If you don't know, you don't know better. Right? So smoking to me is an abusive pattern, right? So I kept doing it, and doing it, and doing it. And then my little note about that on my Facebook, about smoking between the age of 13 and 18, there's a whole description of the ego, uh, or penance, or penitentials, whatever you want to call it, because I felt so wretched. Yes, I was really excellent in gymnastics. That was the top of my game. And yes, I was the top of my game with math mathematics. But when it came to the English language, a transition from the French language to the English language was horrendous for me. It was a horrific ride, but it was about growing pains as well. That no, you don't always get your way just because you smile. Just because you're good with your exercise and just because you're good with your mathematics, those are your strengths. But you got to build your other skills to grow and mature. Right? So, now that I'm older, I can go back to my childhood, ex bad experiences or whatever, I can go back now and show compassion to that child. You know, when I was going to light that first smoke, I could go to that Jeanette at 13 years old and say, hey, you know, you don't have to smoke. I know your friend offered you a smoke, but you don't have to smoke. You know, that intuition, that, that gut feeling like, oh, she's not respecting herself right now, who's that person who's offering me that cigarette. She's feeling devalued. Right? If I would have recognized that, I was 13, she was young too. If I would have recognized I was, she was feeling this valued and she didn't want to be by herself feeling that way. She wanted to, she was reaching out for help, but I was myself for her own age, her age too, so. But now it's like, oh, she wasn't being an enemy. She wasn't being like a drug pull pusher. She was just trying to deal with her empty, feeling like she was empty, a shell of herself, and I joined along. That was my choice. That was not her choice. That was not God making me do that. That wasn't the devil making me do that. That was me, my fear, that war within me, that I don't deserve any better. I don't deserve a healthy way of living. Right? That was on me. Not on others. Not on my brothers. Not on my sisters. Not on my aunts and uncles or grandpa or whoever. Right? That was my choice. And that's what's called maturity. Taking responsibility for our feelings, our thoughts, our behaviors. 
Because if we don't learn from those behaviors, when people say or deem to repeat them, whatever you don't learn, you keep repeating and repeating and repeating. After a while, it becomes a definition of insanity. At that point, we're not sane. Right? When we're doing harmful behaviors to ourselves, we are feeling lost. We are feeling lost in our souls and our spirit. We're feeling unloved. We're feeling overwhelmed. We're feeling ashamed. We're feeling traumatized. We're feeling fearful. We're feeling embarrassed. We're feeling unloved, uncared for. Those feelings are our feelings. Feelings have, the reason why we have feelings is so we can get to know who we are. Know our own story, know our own identity. And I really like the way uh, Byron Katie explains this, the word fear right at the beginning of the YouTube video when you watch it. She mentions that fear is the cause of all wars. Fear is the cause of all bad things. Fear is the cause of why we feel somebody hates us or dislikes us or doesn't respect us. It's because it's the fear, the war within ourselves, right? come to that truth is just like wow what a weight lifted off of my shoulders you know living a life with no regrets <laughs> living a life free of trauma and shame and fear and anxiety wow that's a choice wow You know, there's that part of us that loves ourselves so much. There's that part of us that loves us so much. They won't let us hang on to that fear. That part of us that loves us so much. They want us to learn. They want us to mature. They want us to grow. So each and every part of our being is healing. Not just in our knees, not just in our legs, not just in our back, not just in our belly, but the whole being from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, your soul, your emotions, your intellect, your will, everything. When we feel somebody is not loving and understanding towards us, we feel like the relationship is broken and unhealthy and toxic. Let's think about that for a moment. That's how we think. That's how we feel. There's a war going on in the inside. Fighting for love. Fighting for understanding. Seeking for the truth. Right? And I was mentioning also knowing that peace is that peace that passes all understanding. Anyways, as I was listening to that YouTube video yesterday and I'm going to watch it again today just be quiet and at peace and just listen to that video it's just so I don't know if it's because because I read the chapter 7 first it was a journey to success and when that part of the, the the chapter was he introduced her and his his assignment on that chapter was for us to listen to that video. I was like, oh my God, thank you, Kenny. I really appreciate that. You know, I don't have to be remain in self pity and woe is me and or the victim mentality or all the things that's been gone wrong with me from from when I was little to older and thinking there was something wrong with me. We all are perfectly imperfect, and that's okay. Whatever we do, God's going to love us anyways. Whatever we say, God's going to love us anyways. Anyways.
this. I just thought that is a very beautiful video and I wanted you guys to know. I think I reached my 5,000. Yes, I did. Just hold on, 2717. I'm waiting for the next number. I'm waiting for the next number. I got caught up in my very conversation. Not bad. I think it's 5017, so I reached my 5000. So you all have a great day today, and sorry about that choppy video on my Facebook somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to try not to use Facebook Live anymore and just try to find some other way to do my... Uh, video chats. You all have a great day. And again, today is Saturday. Something in the, is in the air Saturday, June 25th, 2022.